guys, happy new year. I hope you guys had happy holidays. I have been MIA per usual. Um, I did go home for the holidays and I've been busy with work now that I'm back in New York. Um, so whoever said that YouTube is an easy task definitely lied because it is not. Especially, like I said, when you have a full-time job outside of YouTube. I totally wish I could do YouTube full-time. That would be amazing, like a dream come true, but I'm not there yet, but it's alright. I'll get there. So in today's video, I will be doing a QA. and a I did ask um, you guys to ask me any questions you had for me, both on uh, Instagram and Snapchat. So I am here today to reveal the questions and the answers. So if you're interested in learning a little bit about me, keep on watching. Alright, so I did write the questions down um, on a notebook in case you're wondering why I'm looking down. Um, so the questions are random. It's just all about different areas in my life. Um, so let's get started. All right. So the first question is, how did you deal with change and moving to different cities? So as many of you guys know, I lived in Virginia, obviously. That's where I'm from. And then I moved to California for my master's degree. And I lived there approximately two years. And then I moved back to Virginia. And then I moved to New York City, where I live now. So... This is interesting because I was, growing up, I was very sheltered by my parents and my mom in particular was very strict. So I never really got to experience, I guess, the teenage life like most of it people did. I wasn't allowed to go to house parties. I wasn't allowed to be out past like nine or 10, even on weeknight, I mean, on weekends. So I was always kind of fearful of like branching out and like, you know, moving to another state or like going away for college. Um, but then when I graduated with my bachelor's, so I did my bachelor's in Virginia at George Mason University, woo woo, um, and I was a commuter, so I did not live on campus. Uh, I lived with my parents, so I didn't really get that college experience. So fast forward, I graduate four years later, and then I was like, what the heck am I going to do in my life now? Like, I was just completely lost, and I did get my bachelor's in psychology, so as you guys know, there's not much you can do with the bachelor's in psychology. Like, it's mandatory for you guys to go get your master's and then your PhD if that's the route you want to continue. So here I am, graduation day, everything is amazing, all these high emotions, excitement, but then all that stuff wears off a week later and I'm like, what am I going to do? So I just had this crazy idea to go to California. So I started to research like the best programs, the best schools in social work because I did want to change my career at that point to social work. So I ended up finding the University of Southern California, fight on, and um, I was like, let me just, you know, go ahead and try to get in. And the funny thing is, is that when I applied, it was a late deadline. So the application was due in April and it was now like mid-May and I was like, I had like very little hope that I was going to get in. I was like, there's no way, but I might as well give it a try, right? So I apply and then a week later I get an acceptance letter that I had got in and I was like so just shocked and I but keep in mind I hadn't told anyone that I was going to do this. I didn't tell anyone that I applied or that I was thinking about moving. So here I am I get this acceptance letter and now I have to tell my parents. So they weren't too thrilled about it but you know eventually they got over it and I moved to California. That was so hard because keep in mind, you guys, I've never been away from home. I've never been on my own. And I was just like, okay, Bianca, like you wanted to do, you wanted to be on your own, but like miles, like thousands of miles away from home. Like, did you really have to go this far? So I remember moving to California and I didn't even have a place to live like i had been looking online at craigslist for rooms and just all these different apps and i couldn't find anything nobody was you know contacting me back and a lot of the places seemed like a scam so i just picked up and you know was living in a hotel for a little bit until i found a room um that some lady was renting out and that was a complete nightmare living there was a complete disaster um, I was very homesick. I wanted to quit. I wanted to go home. I was like questioning why did I do this, this, that, and the other. And then the biggest thing that helped me was 
the friends that I started to make. So um, in graduate school is very different than um, undergrad because graduate school you grow you basically um, I was gonna say you grow up you um, are with a small cohort of students and um, you guys do everything together basically so you see these people on a regular basis for two years so inevitably you know you build these really amazing friendships and support and you know it's like a family it literally feels like a family so I met some amazing girls that you know I still am very close to this day and honestly and then I also had a roommate where I was living in that really crappy situation and she was amazing she, so you know it was really the support that I received from the people that were living in California California with me um, that really helped me adapt to that city and then it was game over after that like after a year I didn't want to come home and I was just like this is the most amazing thing I ever did it really helped me to you know get rid of that fear that I had and just really step outside my comfort zone and I recommend anyone if you have not gone away do it there's so many places in the world to explore outside of the place where you grew up and I promise you will not regret it so then after that um i did end up moving back to virginia and um i was there for maybe i want to say like a little over a year um and then i moved to new york city and this is where i am now and again it's just a support but you know what this time around um i don't have that many friends in new york city like i did in virginia i mean in california but I think it's just, you know, um, going to California really helped me, like, get comfortable being by myself, even though, you know, I did have a lot of friends, but I did have to adjust being alone for the first few months. Um, and now it's just, like, game over. It's just, a, like, second nature to me. I love to explore new places. I love to, you know, really live a life that is outside my comfort zone because don't get me wrong i'm still nervous i get nervous every like i feel nervous every day here um it's just a very different environment um with public transportation i don't have a car here so it's very different um and it's just a huge city with so many people and you know um but i wouldn't have it any other way like i really want to live in different states i really want to even venture out and live outside the country one day if i you know if god willing i get the opportunity to do so i think it's it's really helps you grow as a person and as you know it makes you culturally sound as well because you know the culture from virginia is very different than the culture from california new york city you know so on and so forth so it really makes you a well-rounded person and it gives you you know the ability to understand people from different places question one i feel like i kind of ranted but anyways next question so how's living in new york city um it's very uh how should i say this emotion packed for me because this is very outside of my comfort zone um just to give you an idea i remember when i moved here it was horrifying because the living situation in new york city is very different like in terms of housing from other places so in virginia you get you want an apartment you go to a leasing office and you put in your application you know whatever then you get to see the apartment they're really nice they remodel it for you they make sure that everything's up to par so that you move in and da 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 here in new york city unless you're loaded um you get pretty excuse my language shitty apartments um now i'm no millionaire yet um so i'm still up and coming you know so um i remember when i moved here i did have you know really find a place quickly uh and it was just not it was just not a lot of time because i decided to move to new york city very last minute so i didn't have a lot of time to really explore the neighborhoods and explore the area and stuff like that so i just kind of got whatever i could get right away and it was really bad you guys i remember in the hallway it was like trash up to the ceiling and uh if you know new york city you know there's rats that are like dogs and it's just disgusting and i was so miserable and i lived in a little ass room it was just really bad and now again i was like why am i here like i i don't want to be here so that place was so bad that i had to move to a hotel for like a month 
and from then I was just looking for a place and then I found another place that was better than the last one that I had that I was in but it was still very shitty you guys it was it was probably like a, like 100 square feet i mean i don't know i'm probably exaggerating but it was a very small and i had um three roommates and no bueno at all um i remember being so terrified of the train and i would walk you guys i would walk to class because i was in that that time i was in makeup school so my makeup school was like 30 minutes uh give or take walking and i would walk from my apartment to or should i say my shoe box i would walk from my shoe box to school 30 minutes you guys in the cold it was january and it was freezing and it was all because i was scared of the train yeah that was my experience at first and then i just got the balls and i was like forget that i'm gonna just get on the train and i got lost so many times there was points i was trying to get to the bronx and i ended up in brooklyn which is the complete opposite um but now it's all it's all good um so then after that i finished makeup school and then i moved to um upper east side where is which is where i live now and honestly this place is way better than the other ones it's actually a studio that i live in by myself it's a very different um, environment obviously living by yourself is way better than you know living with other people um and i have to say that now i'm a i'm accustomed to living here but i don't really i don't really get the hype of new york city and everyone wanted to live here so i guess that really sums it up i'm gonna leave it at that um but it's a cool place to live i mean they have a lot of cool restaurants bars and cool things to do and there's like really nice scenery um but yeah moving on what inspires you Huh. So, honestly, um, my family, my family, particularly my mom and my dad, inspire me um, to infinity and beyond because my parents came here illegally from Central America and they're freaking ballers, man. Like, you fly, no lie. You know Like my my mom and dad are just living the life um and they started from the bottom with no one's help you know at a very young age not knowing the the language here in the u.s um and they are the definition of anything is possible with you know determination and a non-negotiable attitude to get what you want and get where you want in life um they have shown me that this life is not for the weak it's not for anyone who has excuses um and if you really want something then you have to work your ass off for it and i can't fail because they didn't allow themselves to fail you know they no don't get me wrong we all have failures but it's about continuing and moving on even though you fall right so of course of course they had their setbacks but they never allowed that to keep them in the current situation that they were in they always kept moving forward and you know what's more inspirational than that um they really set the bar high for me and you know my brother is a boss like he lives in paris and he's doing his thing and my sister you know has hopes of going to harvard she just did an internship at stanford so it's like they've instilled that you know that boss attitude in us you know life is too short to be average life is too short to you know blend in you you have to take this life by the horns and just make the best out of yourself and truly i thank them for that i have been the more rebellious child who try to step outside of their expectations of me and just kind of take life the way that i wanted to but you know now being 28 and reflecting on everything i do see that they know what they're doing so you know i just really am grateful to have parents who are so successful and um who have instilled in me the desire to want to be more and strive to be the best that i can be every single day Alrighty, so um the next question inspiration to do youtube what inspired you to do youtube honestly i remember um 
always loving makeup and beauty and you know wanting to just be like this really well-known like well first of all I really wanted to be a model like that was my dream I wanted to be a Victoria's Secret runway model and you know I really wanted to like be in New York City modeling and just doing something in the fashion industry you know that didn't go as planned but the love for makeup was always there um it really was a way for me to kind of just escape from my day-to-day -day life um I was very I was severely bullied in middle school and I use makeup as a way to kind of just get away from all the negativity and just, um, I don't know, it was like an art to me. It really, you know, made me happy and from then I started to watch YouTube videos. I remember the first YouTuber I ever watched was Dulce Candy. I just admired her so much. I like admire her so much to this day. She's amazing. Like she's such a powerful latina and just um and a great example of uh no limitations you know the only limitations that exist are the ones you put on yourself and um i always wanted to like be like her like i was like man like that's amazing you should just like turning on her camera and like talking to this audience and these people are loving it and what a great way to inspire other people through this amazing thing that i love which is makeup and beauty and fashion and all that stuff so um yeah that after that years passed by before i decided to finally just go for it and here i am today um hopefully one day i will be like dulce candy actually one day i will be like her because you gotta talk it saying you have to talk it into existence whatever it is you want right the power of positivity the power of you know the law of attraction you're attracting whatever it is that you want in your life is the way to go next question this video is going to be very long so you're going to need a snack a couple snacks and yeah um when did you start getting interested in makeup definitely has to be in the seventh grade i remember i would wear this crazy eyeliner if you knew me back then you know exactly what i'm talking about i would do my wing like all the way out here it was hideous um but yeah it's seventh grade um someone asked what do you do to get out of your sad thoughts and how have you overcome all your negativity all the negativity in your life so if you know Bianca, you know Bianca's been through some shit, um, and Bianca ha has had a lot of sad moments in her life, but Bianca has not stayed there for too long. She has always gotten up. Why am I talking about myself in third person? I don't know, but anyways, um, you know, to be completely honest with you guys, I don't know, like sometimes i reflect on the things that i've been through and i'm like you're one badass like to be able to like smile and have strength to get up and go every single day takes balls and courage and that's one of the things that i love about me the most is the strength that i have and i think i get that from my parents again you know um my mom in particular has gone through a lot of hardships in her life and that woman never stopped smiling she's always laughing she's always smiling doesn't matter how hard her day was she'll never stay in a, in a in a state of sadness for too long and i think you know that's a part of what shapes us and molds us as individuals is the people we surround ourselves with the environment we grow up in you know when you think about attachment and development of a of a, of a person it starts when you're a baby you know and then all the way up um, your parents are the first people you know in your life so they play a vital role in who you are going to be as an adult and yeah I definitely attribute my strength and my ability to move forward from my parents particularly my mom because she's one strong ass woman and um, when you have examples like that it's kind of like going back to like the whole you know what inspires you when you have people in your life who who, who are strong and and you know don't let life's um obstacles keep them from moving forward you know you can't do that for, your, for yourself either like there's no excuses you know like you have a perfect example to follow and you know that it's possible it's possible to keep moving forward no matter how life how hard life gets so yeah my mama is a bomb is the bomb <laughs> um next question dramatic long hair chop how did you go about cutting your hair and getting the courage so 
if you know me i feel like i say that a lot in this video if you know me you know that my long hair has been like my signature for like a long time i've all i've always been about long dark black hair um but you know what this this past year i was like i just want to liberate myself of anything that makes me that i feel defines me you know so for the longest time i thought that long hair was sexy and that was it and you know and i attributed that to me being beautiful and i was like you know what i don't want to live my life like that anymore i want to just feel beautiful on my own for who i am in the inside that sounds very cliche but it's the truth you know so i was like i'm gonna just cut my hair off like i don't care anymore i don't care if i if i regret it like i'm gonna tough it out and i'm just gonna do it and i did it and it feels amazing and i love my haircut shout out to leona she's the girl who cut my hair and she's amazing um so yeah i just wanted to change and i wanted to break the barrier of like you know allowing materialistic things or like physical appearance or anything like that to define who i am as a person you know i'm not defined by who i am or my physical appearance i'm defined by what i have to offer within myself you know um out to the world so yeah if you girls are thinking of cutting your hair just cut it off girl it's gonna grow back it's just hair don't stress it okay okay um let's see what else there's some questions that are repetitive that's why i'm kind of like going around to see um what did you love about living in california what is there not to love about living in california you guys <sighs> okay so um of obviously the weather is amazing um when i lived in california i lived very close to the beach about like 10 minutes from newport and i would just drive out to the beach and the beautiful weather all year round and just chill and just take in the beautiful scenery california has one of the most amazing sceneries i've ever seen in my entire life it's a beautiful place the people are well from what i experienced they're really nice um and yeah I, it's just a really amazing place it has an amazing vibe it's super chill it's very different from from new york uh, New York is very fast paced. Everyone's like on the hustle and bustle. Cali's like more about chilling. It's like, I feel like Cali is a place you go where you already made it. Like when you've already made it, when you're already where you want to be. You know, you just go out there, you chill, and it's just amazing. It's like paradise. I would love to go back to California. Maybe one day. We shall see. All right. Um, I think that's going to be it for now, you guys. This video. From what I see right now, it's 24 minutes already, so I'm going to stop there. And if anything, you guys have any more questions or if I missed your question, please leave a comment down below and I will do a part two to this video. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for continuing to support me on my journey on YouTube and makeup and all that jazz. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! You know what a great what a great what a great hi guys welcome back to my channel hi guys hi ladies hi guys yeah. get some time i feel like i say that in every video holidays and i wanna we all want we all want to